Hi guys, another update. Uh, since a lot of you asked me to do the squad uh, dialogue or the squad leader PDA and the commander console and people got lost about it I will do it uh, because we have some changes so first let's talk about the changes um, the SQL PDA or the PDA we call it in short is the ability for MCC you have to enable it either by mission setting or by placing a module uh, but uh, the base idea is that the uh, squad leader will have some uh, Intel or Blue Force tracker as you, s as you call it. I first do it in Arma 2, inspired by the LB Hunter uh, system. Um, and we just uh, keep on developing it. But in order to use it, the uh, soldier must have uh, must be a team leader. Right now I'm leading uh, this AI. And must hold a uh, GPS. So I will just take a GPS from that. And now you can see I have the option. Or I can just use the keybind which is by uh, default control page down but you can define it to whatever you want to now if you open the squad leader PDA you can see it's a basic PDA where you can see the the, the blue force or the forces uh, working with you you automatically will see uh, players groups and you will see the size and the type you can see infantry um, about a fire team and an armor uh, this is native forces about one unit you can right click to get more info like for infantry and who is the commander and what stands they are they are right now well it will change right if they'll be under under uh, combat and here you can see you have one tank and you can press the live feed to see directly what's going on now you can uh, you have three uh, sets of uh, PDA for the commander for the squad leader commander that you can uh, take a look of course uh, it will scale up as you will look and the nice thing about it that if for example I want to keep my eyes what's going on in the battle I can uh, just uh, grab it and drag it whatever I want to and I want to focus right near here in Gravia and I can pinpoint it and it will stay on my screen and I will have my Blue Force uh, tracker uh, with me all the time now this is basically uh, the squad leader PDA. What more you can do about it is you can double click and you can spot enemy. Let's say for here, I want to call infantry fire team. Uh, all the markers will uh, disappear after uh, five minutes. You can call support and you can go over the construct, uh, building a forward outpost or motor pit ex exam, etc. But I won't go over that. So let's for that purpose keep it pinned right here now most of the action you can do from the PDA you can do from the self interaction um, which is by default control and Windows key but you can bind it to whatever you want to if it's interfere with other uh, mods here for example I'm, if I'm looking at this town and I want to uh, mark an, uh, an enemy I can just look at it and press the interaction and I can support an enemy armor lock and load fire team and if I will open the map you can see it added the marker next to to where I marked. Of course, this is uh, set for uh, for the squad leader. Um, <coughs> apart from that, we have the commander. Well, the commander is a bit different from the squad leader PDA because from the squad leader PDA you will only get an, uh, info, while from the commander you can uh, actually control AI or player unit. In order to to take control of the commander, you will have to press the P key or whatever you bind it to here you can join group etc um, and I would just take the commander there can be only one active commander for each side at any given time you can stop using against the commander etc but you, now you have the commander console which is by default control and by key binds the commander is a bit uh, different from the squad leader Peter as I explained and for example you have the same option that you have uh, before like live feed etc but you can also if this is an AI or even a player unit you can uh, <coughs> add waypoint which they will uh, they will obey and if it's a player driven uh, group that we see them on the map for, it, for example I'm the commander but if I will add uh, seek and destroy touch and destroy sorry and I will open my map I can see that I have this waypoint for me I don't see all the other map 
but this way you can issue uh, quick orders to even blur driven you can call cars and airdrop and etc as long as the mission maker allow it so if I will go into the MCC mission maker and I want to allow it I will have to I will have to give us for example and the squad the team leader so the commander will see the info that he got the new assets to him or even sorry or even new airdrop so next time the commander will open it you can see that he have a cars a uh, closer support that he can use it's one time or, or call Strike for Eva etc now this is basically how you how you get inside the commander console there are more things that you can do with it um, like let's f say for Test example grid one, five, one, controller one, UAV seven, or even controlling uh, AC-130 this is the cars that I call so if for example I want to add a UAV I first need to spawn a UAV Just create it over here, and I will give it some waypoint. Unknown contact. Grid one, four, one, one, now, eight, five. <coughs> if the commander will get inside, he can see the UAV, and he can uh, take control of it. So we lead him to the F2. Well, by uh, pressing in the middle of the screen, you can move the camera and you can s you can uh, control the flight height of the UAV. And if it's armed, you you have this one with the GBU. Uh, you can even uh, fire missiles on the designated target and target them to the to the exact location that they want to go. <laughs> Well, the next one is the AC-130, which is uh, just for five minutes, let's call it over the AO. Mm -hmm. You will get information about the AC enter the scene. And uh, once the commander will get that, he can go to the AC-130. The, the AC-130 works as much as the, as the UAV. And you can see how much time it left before it's gonna disengage. You get to two and a half minutes. Mission maker can always extend that time. And the last one is the forward observer, which I talked about it in the last video. Just skip there and take a look at that. Well, that's about all. Thank you.